Can you guys hear the music? Yes. Awesome. Oh, I should probably join the Twitch stream. Huh? Yeah, when you join the uh, the Twitch stream, you, you have to actually have your um your volume set to like one percent. Otherwise, you don't show as an active. So apparently we are going to get 44 viewers from Mike. 44? Mm -hmm. I, I only saw four, but all right. It might be four active and then 40 inactive. Well, views are views. <laughs> What's ask, up? need to ask him how he uh, no. sets up. To... Um, how much time do you guys have before you're about to go live? Because the raid is we prompt. are live. We got, we're live now. I'm going to have to hit the live in about a minute. Okay. You are you're live now, and you're about to hit the live are two very different things, sir. Yeah, stream is starting soon. That's what it says on the All screen. right, cool. No, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure I got the ad running, so it's uh, cool. All right, I'll be back when we uh when we go weird. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's up, gang? People that are just sitting there hanging out. Yeah, we got four viewers right now. Uh, I'm not seeing Whoa. any at the moment, but. We'll see. Right. We'll find out. Going live. So it says that uh, there's 59 minutes and 54 seconds until the countdown. Hey guys. So this week, welcome to week three of our Scorpion Showcase. Uh, this week we have the pleasure of meeting with Stella. She is our 2D character artist as of right now. Um, She's obviously more than just a 2D character artist, but uh, she'll be showing a little bit of what she does. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Stella. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you guys? Doing, doing great. Wonderfully. Oh, this good. great Tuesday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just working on a little sword swinging animation just in a downward motion for um an attack for okay. the game so yeah it's kind of what i'm working on right now nice right. yeah i like how the sword kind of gets smaller oh what's up ryan thanks for the follow man yeah thanks ryan thanks for the follow ryan <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, my name is Nick. We also have Eric here. Eric Hello. is in charge of the, uh, the stream. We also have Stella tonight. Uh, this is a weekly rotation where we showcase our art and mm -hmm. development of our working title, Hidden Bit, um, where you can also find... I'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the chat for our public roadmap. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I got to talk with Mike on how to set up the bot system for... Yeah, Twitch, we can do that. But that'll that's be a, a that'll be a later date. That's fine. Oh, yeah. We'll figure that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that. And um, What's yeah, up, guys, <laughs> that's our public roadmap for our game. Mm -hmm. This is what you're seeing right now is the player character for Hit, the basically the barbarian mm -hmm. protagonist of our game. And you'll be seeing her progress through a swing sword animation state tonight. And maybe some other stuff. Yeah, maybe some other stuff. Maybe some cool behind the scenes things. Maybe I'll work on a certain little slime monster or something. Oh, we're bringing out the slime monster? We like slimes. <laughs> we're bringing out the slime monster, yeah. That is awesome. It's great to hear. <laughs> so uh, talk to us yeah. a little bit about your process like where do you start and like what are your steps that you do to create um yeah so i'll start um with just a base so with this one i started with this base um okay where i just had um her standing in this uh, position, I'll create the positions. Um, so like for this one, she's in three, four, view. I'll create those uh, starting positions in Procreate and then I'll move to here to animate. 
Um, and I'll just kind of use basic anatomy, mostly reference pictures as to how I will move the body parts. And then it's just trial and error as to what looks good in people. <laughs> that is understood. Um, to my knowledge, this is your, realistically, your kind of almost a brand new to pixel art in general, correct? Yes, very much so. Um, actually, um, my boyfriend, um, uh, he asked, he kept wondering if I could make pixel art for various things. And uh, I said no, because I'd never done pixel art before and I thought I'd be bad for it. And then I started doing pixel art for you guys and he's like, wow, you liked me. So he felt kind of great. <laughs> <but> <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. So now now you don't have any, you have yep. no excuse. Yep. I know, I know. So now he's going to, he's going to be like, well, you did it for them. So. <laughs> no, uh, yep. But you're doing awesome, by the yeah, way. You are. You've Absolutely. been very adaptable with this. Thank so, you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember you saying uh, in previous conversations off stream that uh, you kind of find pixel art a little bit tedious. But uh, so, what is your view on it now? Are you more comfortable with it? It is tedious just because um, when you draw, when you have an arm like this, you mm -hmm. want to put in like the part of me that has drawn 2D for almost all of my life wants me to put in an elbow. But if I put in a place for an elbow, it's just going to look weird. So it's it's literally just what parts of anatomy can I put in there without making it look weird? And what parts of the anatomy will make it look weird? Like even like just with like the chest and then how the waist works and mm -hmm. everything like that. So. Gotcha. OK. <laughs> so Ryan just asked a question in the chat. Who's the girl? So either A, he's referring to <laughs> Stella, our in-house 2D artist and animator. Or me. You know, why not, right? <laughs> or Hit, the protagonist <laughs> of our game. Hit is actually, in fact, the player character. It is one of the two player characters you'll have in the game. Yep. So effectively... Hit is a barbarian type who can hack and slash through enemies, and she will be embarking on an adventure. And you guys will just have to wait and see where that adventure goes. Maybe we'll have uh, narrative come in here and tell us a little bit more about the story and the lore around our creative world one time. Yes. That would be a very interesting story. Yes, absolutely. It would be. That, that'll be a few weeks down the line. <laughs> Mike, how are you doing, man? I hear you uh, You just popped um, in. Yeah, yeah I, well, I played Super Meat Boy for the first time today. Thank nice. you. Didn't know it was. <laughs> it it was the devil. It didn't go. Okay, got it. <laughs> I mean, I, I played it, but me, it hurt. It was fun, though. I, I quite like it. But how's it going over here? I miss anything awesome? Everything you know, what you see? Awesome. <laughs> Don't. <is> cool. <laughs> Copyrights. <laughs> of a stream. Every. <laughs> stream goes down. End of world. Yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> well, that's definitely something that I wouldn't mind adding to my list. Cause stream to crash. <laughs> So yeah, effectively, that's... whenever we uh, violate a copyright like that, like a sound copyright, it just mutes it for a period of time. Yes. Um, until it goes away. So whenever the sound is that the issue is, will go away. Yeah. Less a bit better. Weirdly enough, the sword like it gets shorter as the swing goes, but. I know. I have to. I have. To... So part of the process is I will go through and I'll make the general, like the general swing. Mm -hmm. And then what I have to go back in is I have to animate the hair. I have to animate the clothes and I have to animate the legs of it because those might change a little bit. I'm thinking what I might do is as it's going down, I'll make the legs like do a little, um, like a crouch motion, almost? Yeah. Yeah, either like a crouch or like a raise and then a go back down sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I can see that. 
So yeah, it's just, it's like a three-step process. The first one is just getting down the base layers and what I want to do. And then the second one is going in with details. And then the third one is just kind of like touching up and making sure everything looks okay and deleting what I need to, to make it look good. Gotcha. That's yeah. awesome. Nice. That's a, yeah, that's quite the process. Yes. There are a lot of moving parts when it comes to animating guys. That's what we're learning tonight. Yes. And yes. It feels like in it's fact, almost... This one is 53. Just to, just to, 53. 53. Oh, do you want to play that for the uh, for the audience? Yes, I can do that. So this is a little idle animation. Ooh. Very nice. It is yes. very nice. Very smooth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Buttery. <laughs> Buttery <Butter>. smooth. <laughs> So in any animation, the more frames you have, the smoother the animation inevitably will be. Yes. Um, however, sometimes in animations, kind of like this one, the less frames you have, the better it looks because it just otherwise becomes a little too tedious um, and it'll look kind of bad, kind of like in the running final where just deleting like some frames and having it be less frames just mm -hmm. gives it an overall, overall smoother uh, play. Animation. A hundred percent. I mean, with something with something like that, like animating movement or running, you're not really focused on, especially in a game setting, you're not really focused on the run animation itself. You're focused on the world around it. So it's like as long as you get the overall idea of you know the character moving, it it'll work perfectly fine. Oh, for sure. So, do any of our viewers have any questions for Stella? Let's see who's alive. Sound off like you got a pair. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> we got Alien chilling in here. They followed us. Obviously, Vaughn is up in here with us. There's a Valdis. Who, who, who be you? Ryan's already spoken. I see Pithfilo. That's how I'm pronouncing that. Yo, hey, what's up, Vaughn? How are you, man? It's, uh, this is like a crossover episode between Mike's <laughs> little group and our group. So say something in the chat, man. What's up, Vaughn? Thanks for the follow, Thanks man. Thanks for the follow, Vaughn. Yeah. Yeah, this is a nice little crossover section here between Ninja Nation and DSI. <laughs> it happens. My viewers are not used to me being alive this early in the day. That's also <laughs> true. What's we didn't up, get Vaughn? our usual people. Although Vaughn always pops in, Rave may pop in. I'm still hosting it over on mine, so we'll see who uh, slowly lurks in. Yeah, I know we have uh, we have you set up uh, Mike as an auto host for our our account as well. So I gotta remember how to do that. It's What's a, up, extra? It's a setting you do. So instead of offline, it shows whoever you're following, like one of the prominent ones you're following type thing. Because so I've already done it with a couple of people that I follow, like mm -hmm. uh, Vaughn pops up when he's streaming and whatnot, but I just don't remember how I did it. I did it years <laughs> ago, so my brain <laughs> fucking forgot. No, that's fine. I can, I can walk you through it after the stream. Great. How you doing? Vaughn, even though you just said hi, you're a man of few words, it seems. You can uh, you can speak to your your fullest, I guess we're, your we're, fullest freedom. We're, we're friendly here. We don't bite. We don't. We don't. I don't think. I bite, but most people like it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you were here you for a week. I like... tell you didn't enjoy it. You know, how they have those, like, caution, beware of dog signs, just like, we don't bite, caution, beware of screamer signs. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That sounds about right. <laughs> yep. Here, hang on. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't grab. Who are you grabbing? No, we'll find out. All right. Yeah, just grab people without asking. I'm going. Uh, that that, that <laughs> is like, against the law. It's like mine now. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to see. I'm going to send some messages. 
Lori Pub, welcome. What's up, Lori? How are you today? I mean, uh, things seem to be going well. You finally get to see the product I've been talking about for, what, months now? Uh, it started to come to fruition, which is quite nice. Yeah, it's, it's been a minute. Uh, yeah, we were, uh, this idea has kind of been bouncing around our heads since all of last year, and, uh, we finally started doing something with it at the beginning of this year, so. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm uh, happy we with had the progress 14, that we made. 15, 14 months of pre-production that led into having our amazing team that we showcased last week with Samantha and her environmental concepts. You can check that out on our YouTube and also on our Twitch channel, I'm sure is there as well. Yeah, she um, should be there. And this week we got Stella, so we, we're just going to go one by one. Next week we might be talking about development. So if you guys are interested in a development stream, it might be interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and then the week before that, we actually had Junshin in here, which was our 3D artist. Shout out to him. Um, we need to... We still need to upload that. Yep, yeah, I'm uh, working on it. Nice. It's, it's a work in progress. <laughs> Sweet. We look forward to it. As always, that was a really cool stream, and we are going to be very happy to have that on our YouTube channel. Yeah, absolutely. So Stella, how did you come up with this design? So, um, like the design of like the sword or the character or both. Both? Okay. Yeah. Uh sword, I like blue. I think blue is good. I think it'll definitely stand out um, against the world design and the character design itself. I think mm -hmm. it'll be rather eye-catching. Um, so that's why I picked blue. And then for the character, um, I am a huge fan of the split hairs um, or the like one you have the base color and then you've got like some highlights. I think that's super cool and super fun. And I mm -hmm. wish that more fantasy worlds had it. Um, so definitely put some of my own um, wish list in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh, for the clothes, I just thought about like, what's something that could be a little bit more feminine, but also very practical uh, for a sword user. So I came up with a, a leggings and a bit of like a leather skirt that's a bit thicker and can be used as like armor or like the sword. So. Gotcha, okay, cool. Yeah. It's really cool. No, I can dig it. It's, I mean, it's, it's coming out quite nicely. And for those of you that don't know, this did start as a much smaller, kind of compressed character, which evolved to this over the course of the last, what, like three weeks or so? Yeah, about three weeks. Um, mm -hmm. When we first started this uh, project, we, uh, we pulled assets from an asset pack, and it was a really, really, really tiny uh, version of Hit and had a hood and uh, you couldn't really see the face at all and Stella graciously graciously decided to uh, redo the entirety of the look and feel for it and all of our characters and she's doing yeah. a phenomenal job with it she is she really is thank you enjoying watching it i may need to pick your brain about it in a couple of weeks and or months you know i mean since you're probably gonna be stuck with this for a while uh, about <laughs> learning how to animate myself because I, I there are things that i want to animate on my own little thing yeah, i have no <laughs> idea how to do it I've, I've never animated in my life but i feel like it's have you ever like seen those stop motion videos it really is yeah. like that though especially yeah. with animating like this it's like you draw a scene and then you switch to another scene and you slightly move something and it's just that repeated until you have a fully animated thing Definitely. i don't know what the uh situation is with like 3d models of it i think oh. they use a rigging system most of the time with that's that. that's my issue is my my thing i want to animate is going to be 3d a lot but understanding the basics of animation i have no idea yeah, I, I view it close to like a, 
like a flip book. That's an animation. Yeah. So, same concept, just digital. <laughs> well, absolutely. Uh, and, but being tech savvy ish, you would think that I would have the basics of it. I don't. <laughs> Editing nice. videos, I'm there. Good. No problem. <laughs> Things come out relatively nicely, but it's already all done. Mm -hmm. I just got to clip it where I want, add filters, sound effects, what what have you. Like that, that's that's easy as far as my brain goes. This, this is where my brain says, "Meh, stop <laughs> it. You don't know what you're doing." Now, me personally, I wouldn't have the patience to do this. <laughs> it is I, very it, tedious. It's it's true. I think just because, like, from a from a video editing standpoint, like that's that's, I can understand it, like how tedious it can get, mm -hmm. and that's why I think I'm I, mentally unprepared to do that kind of thing. I mean, I've spent roughly like back when I did my Call of Duty videos, I would spend eight nine hours recording, and then spend eight nine hours clipping to roughly a three minute clip. Yeah, it's like the and, first uh, when the first time you. Uh start to edit a video you gotta watch through the entire thing all over again just to figure out like all no, right yeah. stop it here 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 just doing that yep let me take this all right hold on let me go back just three milliseconds here because that one clips too far and this makes mm -hmm. it look too bad or this this looks too good let's make it look weird like this was a bad situation for me yeah i don't know how many times i've had that stay so no it was fun and i started editing videos on my playstation that sounds... Which is possibly the most rudimentary editing program I've ever seen in my life. But on your PlayStation, I mean, how was... I can't imagine yeah. what that process was like. <laughs> um, You know what? At some point, I will send you the videos that I edited through that, and you can see the end product. It's uh, It came out very nicely. Like, they had a, a decent program. It's just compared to like what I use now, mm -hmm. the, 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 the production quality that I can put out of it is just so much higher, obviously. Oh, absolutely. Uh, what program do you use now? So now I'm using, um, uh, what is it called? Give me a second. Uh, Pro Director. Is okay. That's what I believe it's called. Uh, so it's, I, I even have the box in here somewhere. I just quite frankly, I'm too lazy to get up. <laughs> oh, Power Director. That's no Power Director Pro 360. That's what it's called. So it's a great little program, 100 bucks for a year subscription, and they're constantly updating with filters, uh, sounds, um, what do you call it, transitions and whatnot. Like they're just, it's it's for just as far as it goes, they're bang for your buck, absolutely phenomenal. Gotcha, well, that's cool. Yeah, oh, either. let's ask the, the weird question real quick. How many? frames you think this was going to hit? I thought the last one that we saw for that idle animation was roughly 50. If I saw that right? 53. Yeah. Right about, yeah. I think this one will be only about like yeah, it might be like 15, 20. I don't think it'll be as many as the last one. Um, so, definitely not that hot. For sure. No, that's, that's good stuff, man. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, going off of that, how many frames would you say, like, the, the jump and fall animation will have when we eventually get there? Oof. Um, the jump animation will probably be close to, like, 35, 45-ish frames, and then the fall animation will probably just be, like, 50. I can't see the fall animation being too much. It might even be even less. It might even be more, like, 10. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Just because with the jumping, like, there's so much, and then I'll have it repeat. So it'll kind of be like this, but just, like, a little bit more. So definitely probably around, like, 30-ish. Gotcha. Okay. So is it going to be... I don't know. Are we going to do it as an all-one swift jump and fall, or is it going to be jump? Oh, because we got a double jump, so it's not going to be jump and fall. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I plan to do <laughs> two separate either animations. way. I plan to do like yeah, two separate animations, and then if you guys want, you can just kind of merge them, or I can put them in the same file or something, and just label them and be like, hey, do this one if you want this effect. <laughs> mm -hmm. So off of this animation here, how far is the swords gonna go down? Is it gonna go down like down to the knee, or all the way down to the ground? Ah, <sighs> so. I'm thinking what I might do 
is because we have slimes, and the slimes are going to probably be tall. Like if we set up the slime, it, I should probably make it so that at least it could like point at the slime so that it's realistic, and then also we have pots to worry about as well. So I figured. Mm -hmm. The more of a broad sweep I can get in the motion of this sword, the less we have to worry about whether it, like, actually will generally hit the object or not. <laughs> so, with, like, these slimes and stuff, we will be resizing everything. So, okay. I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. It just needs to be... So, I think it... I feel like the smallest slime will be about the size of one of those squares. <laughs> Yeah. And then the medium is two squares and the large will be three squares in height. Well then, where would you like me to stop it? Do you want me to just stop it at the square right here? Oh, uh, you can, yeah, because it, like in a general, like, over... overhand swing, I mean, usually it goes all the way to the ground, but idealistically it kind of stops around knee height. Okay, I can do that then. So, could you tell us a little bit about Asprite in general? Um, yes, although I don't have much to tell you just because I'm still generally new to the program, but Asprite is very user friendly um, in terms of um, tools and shortcuts. Um, everything has a keyboard shortcut, which is really nice. Um, and there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube about how to use the program. Um, the only thing I really don't appreciate is how um, hard sometimes the palette can be to just add like new shades and everything, but I'm sure that's mm -hmm. just user error on my part. I haven't really looked into how to fix it, but another nice thing about the palettes is that you can just make a palette strictly off of when you import a sprite, it'll make like a color palette for you. So I literally just imported this image and they made this palette for me. So oh, that's pretty cool. Anything oh. else. So yeah, that was very nice. Um, but it's definitely worth the $20. Yeah, no, absolutely. I was going 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah this it's was only pretty robust bucks. tool for oh, 20 bucks. Say so less. What, like, what other programs were you looking at using before you came across Asperite? Um, I was just going to use Procreate, honestly. Um, maybe I would use... I know Adobe has an animation program, so I might have looked into that. But otherwise, I was mainly just going to use Procreate. And while Procreate's animation uh, <laughs> system isn't really that bad it's mm -hmm. also just even more tedious than aspirate so i very much just right yeah i think i, I remember doing that i was uh, trying to do a model of the blob uh last night with a procreate and it's just like i i can't just yeah no it's like i can't get the pixels to function the way i want them to it's were the scale just like wasn't a, there were you using like a pixel brush at all or were you just or did uh, you have like the canvas size so that you could pixelate it? No, I use the pixel brush. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I know. I I wish that they had some better pixel brushes for Procreate um, because every brush that I've looked at, like the the one pixel, the like the the single pixel brush, um, mm -hmm. uh, is like the best one and kind of like only one there is. Yeah, like. I was the ones that you would like pay for, and I didn't really find any alternatives to made it smaller. So well, it's a little, it's a little meh, but that's where, <laughs> that's where ass break. Andy. No, yes, the be the ability to be able to put individual pixels on something is actually really nice for pixel art. Mm -hmm. It is. You can be as detailed or as least detailed as you possibly can be mm -hmm. with pixel art. Exactly.
So yeah, like here, I'm just kind of winging it and I'm just kind of seeing what's good. Um, I have a video on background that um, it's a 3D model by Daddy DZ. It's called Downward Slash Work in Progress. And that's what I've been using as a reference video for oh, this yeah. animation. And uh, so, yeah, but some of this is just very you eyeball it, and that's kind of the best you can do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it seems to be working, so I'll take it. <laughs> so roughly how long would one of these take to put together? Like, how long have you already been working on this? But did I, cause I, I, I haven't been here to like, start upstream. So is this 30 minutes worth of work? Or um, was it much longer? Well, so I had some of these frames done on Monday. So eight, nine, 10, and 11 have all done. So like, it really just depends on the subject matter as well. Like if it's a running cycle, this took me a very long time just because running has so many parts of the body moving. Whereas this will take me less time because it's only one element moving and that's really the sword and then the arms and then that's it. That makes sense. There's yeah. at least as much to know about animating. <laughs> yeah, so it's just, it really just depends on the subject matter. Um, but I should be done with this pretty soon once I go back in and finish up some of the other details. Mike, I'm not sure if you were actually in here when Stell was talking about it, but she was saying this in such a way. Um, good way. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got sidetracked. Um, so not only is she animating that sword, uh, but she's also animating the skirt, the hair, the legs. This is all a big work in progress. Not only is that sword moving in this animation, but there's all of those tiny little details that we are adding to that to make it more of a reality. I'm not again. I'm not sure if you were in here earlier. No, I definitely like didn't that. see that, and I, yeah. I, I like it. Yes. So what she's working on right now is, in particular, the sword swing action mm -hmm. right now. And then she's going to go back in and she's going to iterate based off of each frame. And then she's going to work on the hair. She's going to work on the legs, and she's going to work on the skirt. I did hear the leg part. That might have been right when I popped it. Because <laughs> Eric was talking about her crouching a little bit during said, uh, said swing. Yeah. Yep. So that's what we're going to effectively end up having Pit do during the this animation sequence. Um, and then once we move forward, because we have a whole other player character to work on. Yay team, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll see we'll see where we stand in regards to what we need to really get done. And mm. we'll see what happens. It's exciting. It's it's all really exciting stuff. Very much so. No, I do know that the NPCs aren't going to take this much movement because they're not the main character. You don't have to be able to control them. They kind of, you know, walk. I guess if you want to include mouth animation, I don't think we will just because, you know, none of the other. No. With the you amount think of the pixels, bosses, maybe? With the amount of pixels we have and the amount of the game usually has giving them a mouth would be really weird like this would this would be the size of like their mouth basically there's no really making that movie yeah too much so yeah for sure yeah. so that being said when we go back in uh there's a very important character that needs to probably be redone for fidelity's sake Mm -hmm. His name being Bagpipe Man. Oh. <laughs> yes, he does need some clothes. Um, he needs other some than TLC. What I gave him. Yes. So, also, um, there may be a few more animation cycles that we will talk to you about later. Uh, I'm dreading some of those because I know what some of those are, probably are, and I know now. Life. <laughs> well, if anything, we can get Samantha to help you. <laughs> oh no, it's not the animation. 
about it's just the 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 uh, idea behind those animations that I will to make for him. Oh, okay, gotcha. For sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't going to be giving out IP secrets. Who do you think we are? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Although Sorry, if I gang. Was, if I was smart, I would have Frederick the Rat up here so everybody could see them. <laughs> oh, 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 now you see. <laughs> we don't talk about Frederick the Rat, just like we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> What's up, oh, everyone? All of the people, the whole gang that's in here. Bits. Yeah, all y'all are working. Quite yeah. nice. We got Alien Gathering, Alien Conglomeration. Are, are y'all like a, a duo? The duo from... <laughs> Alien Gathering is definitely from my stream. Alien hey. Conglomeration I might be also, actually. Huh. Um, and I don't know. They never talk. They're always just there. Well, who, no, what's up, gang? <laughs> Dude, I we, usually we have about nine have. or ten lurkers. They don't speak. They just... I'll start the stream. They're already there. It's as if they've watched the first stream and never went away. You know what, alien peeps? I'm your biggest fan. I love yeah, that we're... for you. <laughs> look, look, if we can't get them to talk, maybe Stel can. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta keep it, it up. You gotta keep it up. You gotta keep you gotta stick to stick to your values, stick to your roots. Mm -hmm. Guys, if Don't we see you in next week's stream, we want you to say something, okay? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, what's going on, extra Lori? PS Flow. Sir yeah, Eli. I pronounced that as one solid word. It was funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Just salute. What about, what about Valdez? You. Mr. Valdez and or Mrs. Valdez. And or they them Valdez. Uh, believe it or not, that's me. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. What's up, Sam? <laughs> no, that's the smart move. Like, for anybody that might be a potential streamer here in the future, lurk in your own streams. You're a viewer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just make sure you're talking in your own stream also. It's very weird. But dude, talk to yourself. Like, God damn, is that strange to say? Yes, that yes, we talk to ourselves all the time. I mean, I'm even do a we, lurker in here. Do we, do we talk to ourselves? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it kind of makes sense. I guess you have to for a streamer, right? Be I set to... off sound alerts, so that way it doesn't look like I'm typing to myself. I just set off <laughs> sounds, and I count as a viewer when that happens. So all of a sudden, you just be there, it's quiet, and nobody... And his name was John Cena! And they're all confused and shit. <laughs> like, hey, what just happened? Do, do, do. Like, it, it does it, it, and then it cuts out, and it's like, and I'm a viewer. <laughs> nice. Absolutely. Sound alerts are fun. I cannot wait till we get to affiliate on this channel, because it's going to be awesome. Oh, oh it is. Setting up the sound alerts and the stickers is so much fun. I oh, we need easy. someone to make stickers. Hint, hint, not judge, wink, wink. Hey, I already them. made a sticker uh, for my friend uh, that was, she was told to touch grass, so I made a sticker that said that I touched grass today. <laughs> nice. I think it's pretty cute. Um, that's what, that's so. like Joel's go-to saying, man. Yeah. <laughs> stealing it really Joel's, is, isn't it? Joel's saying. I'm gonna go outside and touch grass. It's an important part of self-care. Like, even if it's like a, like sometimes I'll bring in a singular blade of grass and just have it sitting next to me. Does that just actually like, work You know, for a little you? reality <laughs> check. I mean, I occasionally look outside my window. Granted, I'm looking at a parking lot, but it's something. My job is way too stressful. <laughs> I don't want to true. touch anything when I'm at home except for my mouse. And your keyboard. My around. <laughs> well, reality is garbage. Amazon is awesome and the devil all at the same time. Yeah, we understand that. <laughs> we love it. I mean, they pay the bills. Now. There we go. This sword is looking cool, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this sword is looking a little droopy. <laughs> 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 like here, it's like, oh, it's a sword. And then it's like, it looks sad. Like if I put like a little sad face on it. Like, 
Would you an Easter egg at some point? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just I'll the one the frame animation. with a side face. I'll hide it in the animation. <laughs> They'll never know. Alright. So it looks like it needs to go down one more. And then oh, yeah. it should be good for the sword swing. Yeah. I'm just gonna straighten her up a little bit. Hmm. Oh, okay. now I'm gonna just... delete the. <laughs> He's like, oh, no more sword. Yeah. <laughs> what if I just delete <laughs> the entire sword and just try again? That's fine, right? Yeah, then I can just... Okay, yeah. This is why it takes me so long. It's an upside down umbrella. No. <laughs> <laughs> Turn into the granny here. Get off oh, my yeah. lawn. No. I know. Or it kind of looks like a like a walking stick too. I did fix the arm. Like that. All right. So imagine when you're holding a sword out, your your shoulder is gonna be at the same. Your sword is gonna be at the same height as your shoulder, fully extended. If you hold it straight out. Yeah. Yeah. I've just gotta account for other arms. We'll need to. Uh... Again, I, I still vote that Stell takes fencing classes and or swordsmanship classes. We could all go to Renfest. How about that? Uh. Perfect. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> alternatively, a cheaper. It'll one. work because I can wear my Assassin's Creed uniform because it's actually relatively retroy, steampunky. So that works. Does it? Let's do it. Does. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Gesundheit. <laughs> ew. What do you mean ew? I'm mean, supposed to send my daughter when she sneezes, and it's funny. So ew. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right. <sighs> hmm. What if I just kind of and she lost okay. her arms. <laughs> No arms no. for you. No you know arms. what happens when I can't figure out an animation? I take away their arm privileges. No more arms. <laughs> no arms. No arms for you. I mean, to be fair, they probably don't deserve them after what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know who doesn't deserve arms? Narrative team. Narrative team and their antics are good for the story, but not good for my heart. <laughs> no, they they just give you so much work. It's like you gotta do this, and I was like, nope, not happening. See, Sorry. see, life was simpler when it, it was just Eric and I calling the shots, but now we have a whole narrative team that are just we, we have to listen. They're to wrecking. Now? Like what? We have to lasso them in, and we have to we actually have to control them because otherwise, uh, Junction, Stell, and Samantha are all gonna be inundated with work, and it won't be our fault. It'll be their fault. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all their ideas sound great, but then we have to start thinking realistically. Like, all right, how much time does this think you think is this actually going to take? take. To do? <laughs> yeah. And they cannot have the conversation with scope creep. I think every other day. For the past we, three weeks. It's been actually every other day for the past like three days. <laughs> yeah. We're it's sitting a, here. It's a very thinking, real oh, thing. Goodness. It's like everything yeah. sounds great. It's not gonna happen. Sorry. <laughs> Last Friday, everything that we were talking about probably not happening. It's just. <laughs> you know what? It's fair though. It's fair. Oh, 
I because... swing my blob at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're thing. not. You're not doing what I want. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we're getting somewhere. I think I understand now. I am learning the way. <laughs> do you know the way? <laughs> I do not know. So I know nothing. Okay. You know nothing, John Snow. I don't. I went to art school for three years, and all I got was the city. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you learn? How not to do art? No. <laughs> <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Everyone knows that C's get degrees, and then also somehow land you into internships. It's I mean, <laughs> you ain't fucking wrong. Exactly. <laughs> So you're saying this entire time I didn't actually have to try? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, working harder, not smarter. Exactly. Guys, 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 <laughs> master's work is more important than bachelor's work. Look you know here. way more important than that? <laughs> it's fun to be able to do it for you so you don't have to do any of it. It's hey, called no. the lazy. Proud of it. I try hard. Why do you think I train my staff so hard? I don't have to work anymore. <laughs> See, now it makes more sense as to why people hire the lazy people. Oh, no, mm -hmm. God, no. What? Yeah, the lazier you I are, hired the, the more work gets done, believe it or not. Well, I don't have to. No, yeah, it's a it's a thing. Like, lazy people will somehow find a knack to not do work, so they'll find the quickest and most efficient There's way to get something done. There's a few articles on this. <laughs> exactly. There's a few articles on that. Now I understand why I never get a job anywhere. Because I work my, <laughs> I work my butt off and get nothing out of it. So maybe if I just sit on a log, I'll get hired. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> you gotta overachieve to get the job, and then. Go. But not quite nice. I hope so. <laughs> it's just, if anything, what I might do is I might be like, all right, the frame is what it is for right now, and then I'll go. Okay. Let's see what. Let's see thus far. Okay. Motion wise, it looks good. Yeah. And motion wise is what matters. Because Absolutely. what I'm going to end up doing is when the sword swings down, it's going to be a faster motion than see now because, you know, gravity. Are you going to throw the uh, trail thing on there as well, or...? Yeah, uh, I plan to, I plan to just throw a little, like, thing Oof. in there. So how sharp is that sword? What, what can it cut through? Um, let's Your very see soul. Here. Yeah, Don't exactly. <laughs> Joke's on you, I don't have one. <laughs> okay, no. So this sword is probably how many years? Which means, know. like, the older it is, the better the material it's probably made of. Because, mm -hmm. like, things just get worse. Is like kind of usually like in terms of quality. So maybe you know what? I think it can cut the stalest um, baguette bread in half in point. Three seconds. So that's, cement that's... is what you're saying. It can cut through cement like <laughs> but apparently. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 What do you think? One more down? Or do you think that's No, good? that that angle looks yeah, fine. Good. It just looks like the sword is still getting shorter and wider as it goes. <laughs> so also something that we have to keep in mind with that sword, it has to match what's going on with your idle animation. What do you mean by that? I mean, it looks a little fat in this, right? And then if you look at your animation for your idle, it looks a little thinner. Yeah. So It'll... we'll just need to, I, I, I know you'll get it, but I'm just <laughs> uh, so, saying something that we need to keep in mind. <laughs> Magically transforms like from a longsword to a bastard sword when one swing. 
like all of a sudden it's just a fencing sword at the end of it. <laughs> just a little needle. Like eh. It's just a it's just a stick. <laughs> it goes from the biggest sword to the tiniest sword in one fell. Exactly. That's how it works. I like them thick, I like them chunky. You know. I mean, okay. <laughs> well, dad bods My are all sword the right needs right a now, dad bro. bod. <laughs> Mike and I have the same bod. <laughs> You guys have the brain worm. We do, actually. <laughs> Mike and I are spooky in, in, in the same, like, we, we have the exact same thoughts at the exact same time. Yeah, we are interconnected. It, yeah, it's strange. It's a thing. It happens. Right. Just saw us in our Project Zomboid escapade last night, man. Well, uh, <laughs> so on the, the note of games we're playing outside of what we're developing, uh, when are you coming to join a server, fucker? Eric's already there. Hey, maybe. <laughs> Am I invited here, guys? Absolutely. Yeah, you're invited. You want to play server. some Minecraft with us? I would love to play the Block Serotonin game. The what now? What? What's that? The Block Serotonin game. Oh, okay, yeah, Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, dude, I the register. I was like, hey. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, the really I scary will, uh, monster is on there now, right? I'll shoot you an invite to my Discord, and there is a step-by-step -step process, uh, kind of... My, w w the person who owns the server, one of my uh, co-stars, she's, uh, she's got to post it up and grow people stuff, and it will walk you through how to join it. Let me get to You should have a channel, Thanks for Babies and Grown People Stuff. <laughs> Things for the uh, Sweetlings. I that thing, oh my god. Things for babies. I think that should be a thing. <laughs> and no, there can't be things for babies because I'm not I'm not I'm not family friendly. I'm not. That's what makes it even more funnier. You're not wrong. <laughs> but they're melted chocolate bunnies. Very depressed puppies. Why is it for babies? We need to know wait, the reality wait, wait, of the wait, world. Wait, 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 wait. Can we have a channel named Very Depressed Puppies? Why? Why? Why do you want to make that sad of a channel? No. <laughs> it, it, it's for Mike's. It's for Mike's Discord server, not ours. I don't want to do oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's fine, right. but not not on our server. Or or or. Uh, okay, I can't say that on stream. Never mind. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll talk to my mods about putting something together like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we won't call it that. We'll call it having a bad day. Check them out. <laughs> can't be that I bad. Love that. <laughs> oh, we're all going to hell. I'm already there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, humanity does not equal hell. Okay? <laughs> I don't know. According to Nick, it does. <laughs> Harry, bad people plus humanity, that's hell. I, gu I guess it's good that I'm a twig. Yep. I am, I, I'm actually, I weighed myself. And this might be too much information for the stream, but I am right in exactly where I need to be for my BMI. So, oh, I'm so, uh, so you're saying you're fat. I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm not. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm pleasantly plump. <laughs> Quite nice. Pleasantly plump. The dad bobs are real. <laughs> Damn straight. I still get play. All right, Stella, we have about eight more minutes. Um, you can always go on longer. It's completely up to you. We just like to block oh, out yeah. an hour. Everybody this. else is kind of uh, shut down at the hour mark, but there's no absolute need to. Yeah. I am fine with whatever. I am just trying to figure out. And it's always nice to see the progress that you make in an hour. Like, oh yeah, uh, Vaughn thinks so too. <laughs> Heck yeah! Yeah. Thanks, Vaughn. It is quite remarkable, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because uh, let, let's let's put this in, in in an aspect that we can all understand. She's building this with cubes. Yeah. This is very Minecrafty. I love it. It is very Minecrafty. <laughs> it's funny you say that because before I like 
really got into like Minecraft houses. I used to build the most horrendous like houses there ever was. Um, and now I build the most beautiful Minecraft. I haven't seen mine yet. They're in food trash. <laughs> so, so little did I, little egg me know um, <laughs> building like whenever I was working on Minecraft actually working for a better future. Mm-hmm. You're not wrong. I had an image. <laughs> 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 made characters. <laughs> <laughs> See, Mom? Video games help people. Parents just don't understand. Yeah, I don't think they ever will. Unless they're a gamer themselves. Well, it's, uh, well my, 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 my dad's a gamer, so I guess I'm good there. Lucky. It's not very good. I mean, I spank his ass at Call of Duty on a regular basis, but he tries. No, I think the one the one game my dad plays is Solitaire. <laughs> That's not a game, sir. I mean, it kind of sort of is. Yeah, it's really not. It's not a game. We're building a game. What about what about Wordle, my mom? No, Wordle. Sorry. Wordle is a Wordle is more of a game. thought exercise than it is a game. That's fair. Like it's, it's like crossword game. puzzles, just with extra steps and more thinking. Yeah, <laughs> less fun. <laughs> I find crossword puzzles amazing. That's only because I'm dyslexic and letters confuse me. Man, high school must have been tough for you. <laughs> I dropped out. There you go. <laughs> I thought that was. <laughs> I mean, I went back, you know, got my degree and whatnot, or my degree, my diploma after the fact, but that's only because I thought that without a high school diploma, I couldn't get a job. Turns out no one gives a shit. At least nowadays they don't. They didn't back then. I dropped out and then worked for the Department of Defense for three years. I didn't give a shit. Wow. Okay. Like, you willing to get exploded? Sure. Cool. Here's a vest. Go. Right. That was the most fun job I've ever had. I got to play with explosions on a daily basis. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> you are so weird. I might have to trade you in for a new baby. You're probably broken. <laughs> That's harsh. Why would you tell Return your child to that? sender. <laughs> I don't know how effective life. that would be. <laughs> It's like that, um, it's like that one <laughs> robot movie where the dad is like, you wanted a boy, right? And then he just goes back into the box. <laughs> he grabs the part. I love it. Great times. What do you want from me? So, in review tonight, guys, we have done some pretty awesome stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. Things went down. We've uh, created a sword swing. Woo. And we've learned that there is entirely a lot that goes on in this process of making said sword swing. In fact, we are bewildered at the amount of work that you are putting into this. And um, <laughs> we may be reviewing some certain, certain things after this meeting to uh, figure out what we can do to mitigate some of this. <laughs> <laughs> also after hours. Oh, good. good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've I've got it. I've got it. I just gotta. You know. it, just it takes time. No, we we understand it, it takes time. It's an insane amount of work. Mm -hmm. At Absolutely. least in our brain, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you know what I wish for Aspirate? I wish that their cameras was a bit better. I just wanna, I wish there was like a shortcut for these things, but I don't wanna take the time to take my mouse and move it around. Can you middle click the mouse button? Oh my God. Whoa! <laughs> Revolutionary! <laughs> Guess we're learning new things now. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait, I think there's a new person here. Let me find you. Who are you? What's up, new person? Howdy, new person. Hello, new person. Uh, we just went up. Welcome. I think somebody finally started Extra watching. More, uh, Commander Root. No, no, that's normal. I don't know what it is, but it's in every stream. 
and they've been here. No, somebody may have actually started clicking things and turning the volume up because there's no different names, but there's a whole nother viewer account. Yeah, we're up to nine, I think. Welcome to actually paying attention. How you doing? Yeah, what's up? What's up? It's a shame that the stream's about to end, gang. Yeah, and like two minutes but you <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks for your your very nice um yes absolutely we we appreciate all the views but uh yeah guys thank you so much for tuning in if you 10 view oh. what look at this we're getting 10 views now Oh, I'm in no rush to get off. I mean, oh, it's just okay. like right now. Keep no, going, you, you can keep it going. I'm just going to end the stream. I just, just want to keep this up to an hour. All right, gang. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Yep. You, uh, you're, you're cool. Yeah. <laughs> you need to find a proper sign off. My don't yeah. die respawn, you can't have it. But. All right. Open that effect. DSI signing off. All right, guys. This that was. Works. Scorpion Showcase. Scorpion Showcase. Oh, oh, oh we got a PSM. Follow What's up? Thanks for the follow. follow. Next week for week number four. What? Uh, who was Leo oh. and saying oh. awesome work, Stella? Oh, Whoa. they know who you be. This is somebody we know. This, that's my boyfriend. Oh, oh word. What's up, oh, Leo? Oh. Thanks for joining. Thanks for following. Catch us next week. Have a good night. Yeah, guys. come check us next week, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>